we've got experts, we have data, and so we're able to be quite innovative and bring solutions. And now with the technologies, you can do so much with personal learning environments, intelligent adaptive learning, really using data that might be behind a game or a simulation. Technology is always a double-edged sword, and I think the big challenge for us is to understand that we can be in control of technology rather than be technology being in control of people, but it all depends on how it's designed and it all depends on how knowledgeable we are. Open education nowadays, in its contemporary way, has everything to do with using technologies for learning. So it's with the growing of technologies that we can uh, share more content and we can involve people social net via social networking or just by sharing in platforms. Was macht die Hochschule damit? Wie kann sie das nutzen? Was ist didaktisch sinnvoll? Was lässt sich organisationell, curricular äh, entsprechend weiterentwickeln? Und dafür braucht es eben auch ein gewisses Bewusstsein, einen gewissen äh, gedanklichen Überbau, mit dem man eben mit anderen Leuten noch mal stärker zusammensitzt und sich austauscht, wo vielleicht verschiedene Kompetenzen zusammengeführt werden und wo in der Hinsicht die Hochschule auch wirklich noch mal neu gedacht und gemacht werden kann. You, you think you're interacting with another human, but it's a cyber agent and it's a cyber peer. It might be a cyber peer that is skeptical of what you say, or it might be a cyber peer that's like a cheerleader encouraging you. Uh, and then you can have tutors that are very provocative, and some of that could be automated in the future. Every university has its own unique role and this kind of uniqueness, that's what I'm looking for because now then they can collaborate. But that as well, if I link that uh, with the important role of universities with these regional development aspects. Many university managers, I think they are starting to see um, perspectives, you know, where they can go with this type of, uh, of initiative. Um, and we see that certain universities decide to focus on different things, you know. Some of them decide to focus on teaching, teaching methods and explore that. So it's interesting because managers or university um, uh, rectors and vice chancellors, they can really now start seeing um, strategies in which to focus on. What we're seeing is that new features, because of digitization, are being added or at least are enhancing some aspects. Again, going back to collaboration, openness, transparency. Um, how do we increase people's humanity through technology rather than undercutting what humanity is? And I think ultimately education is the single most powerful force in that. Uh, people are on social media and Facebook and games, informal. Uh, that students are spending a lot of time on and less on the formal learning environments. So I think we need to figure out a blend between the two. And if we find the right blend, then I think students are gonna be motivated for uh, difficult higher education.